Um, this is what we should actually talk about. We're here to plan Nicole's wedding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. So what are your colors? Um, so kind of this shade of green. If you've ever seen Shrek, the like also the vest that he's wearing. So like this shade of green and then like just like a crap brown mostly. Do you have any any thoughts on where we could take that? Do you want a third color or? That's a good question. <laughs> would you what would you recommend as a third color? I would go with pink for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I knew mean, you were going to say how, that. Look at how beautiful those are together, guys. That is pretty great. I feel like people whose crap isn't, like, within the tolerance of that shade of brown is going to feel really left out. They're like, well, we're a crap brown wedding, and all the people with, like, really black, you know, outputs are going to be... Like, they're just going to feel... They're going to feel poop shamed. Yeah, I mean, it's, if your poop is black, you should probably go see a doctor anyways. I think actually it's a what an idea. Like you know how you have like interactive things at your wedding. It sounds to me like she doesn't want people with medical conditions at her wedding. You know, there's going to be a sign that says so like, if you should be at a doctor right now, fuck off. <laughs> so this is the thing. Right. Is I was, you know, it's not that we don't want them there. It's just we want them to be aware. So like I'm thinking like maybe like all along the wall is just like one of those scales that's like what color is your poop and what does that mean that for you? Like what does that mean that you need more of in your diet? And then it'll match up with our buffet. Oh, you could seat um, people accordingly. Like so instead of bride groom side, you just have like dark, <laughs> yeah. dark tones, light tones. <laughs> have a color. Do color. I get an invite? Because um, this is really tempting. Yeah, come on down. Great. <laughs> but then you're gonna have. Then everyone's gonna know what your poop's like because they're gonna look at where you're sitting, and you're you're a public figure now. It's an honor for them. I don't know what. <laughs> okay, I just I just want you to be aware. Uh, that because I mean you have the power to change it. Like I said, you're in charge of planning Nicole's wedding. Wow. Yeah. Um, Could you do one of those big paint by numbers and just have only those colors, all the poop colors, and everyone mm -hmm. can go up and you can only paint with your own color? I'm liking this. This is getting more and more interactive. <laughs> oh, fabulous. I, I love the how informative this graphic is. Uh, you know, as we can see, uh, yellow means... <laughs> this color is normally... Oh, that's... It's just normal. Yeah. Normally, I believe these are all normal. Marmot is pressed fed bubbles. That's mm -hmm. yellow. So, yeah. Sorry, do you want to run that by me again? <laughs> this color is totally marmot breast fed bubbles. That's what it says. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's what my doctor told me to expect. Yeah. <laughs> yellow poop. I'm surprised yeah. to see that red isn't a healthy color because, like, the amount of times. <laughs> Can I, can, uh -oh. can I count the amount of times that I've been like, woo, red poop. <laughs> like, you know, you got, it's like one of those, like, you got to collect every color sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. Which ones are you missing? Um, So far, just brown and green. <laughs> like all the shades of brown? Like you haven't gotten, because there's at least, I'm going to say at least two shades of brown. Mm. Um, Yeah. Yeah, mostly mostly brown and green. I usually usually it's like a yellow orange to yellow to red color, but that's like normal though, right? Yeah, I mean your... I think as we've established all the colors are normal. Yeah, right. Fair. I'm ready to move on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, we could move on to that asparagus discussion that we were having yesterday. Which is like, what is the normal amount of asparagus for a person to eat that at which it changes the scent uh of their piss? One. That that that's the standard one. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, so you're on team Nicole's grandma. No, no, no. my grandma's pee doesn't smell when she eats asparagus. She's told me very plainly. She was surprised that mine smelled when I eat asparagus. Man, I can't keep up with this. <laughs> I'm gonna like fail this like anatomy test I have coming up. Like I just, I can't <laughs> understand the colors. I can't understand the smells. The anatomy spell the anatomy test that's particular like specifically just involving me and my family and what our <laughs> bowel movements look like and what our yeah the one you like. enclosed with the wedding invitation <laughs> yeah. saying like you need to get eighty percent or higher uh, if you want if you want to come mm -hmm. it's very very demanding mm -hmm. yeah well so you, I it, sent a study if guy. you're not good at taking tests you might end up in an awkward situation where like you plan her whole wedding but you're not allowed to attend. Mm. I was going to say you end up in an awkward situation where you walk up to my grandma and you go up to her and start a conversation assuming that her pee smells after she eats asparagus and embarrass yourself because clearly that's not the case. Oh, no. I got I got the whole conversation planned out for when I walk up to your grandma. So why was this a topic you guys decided to have? 
on the show. <laughs> well, you got to think of these things when you're planning a wedding. Like that's just that's just the basics. 